Augie's over at the fire right now and uh, oh, Yuki, you smell. What did you roll in? So today we're gonna do something a little different than our normal videos and we're gonna take a look at some surprising things that we have discovered out in the maple bush. And Yuki gets to see it every day, so he thinks it's boring. But last year we noticed that there was some beetles occasionally hanging around in our maple buckets. And then we did the firefly video and we were thinking, hmm, haven't we seen these guys before? So back in the fall when it was starting to get colder, we noticed that there were some firefly beetles actually hiding in the little nooks and crannies and crevices of the maple tree bark. We thought that was a little bit weird, but we didn't think much of it until this spring when it was time to tap our trees. As we were pulling the buckets apart, we actually found a couple of uh, firefly beetles in the buckets. Uh, that had overwintered there. I don't know if the sugar attracted them or what. So if you have any theories about what the link is between fireflies and maple syrup, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Yuki, what did you find? Did you find deer poo? Yeah. And so this is what you call a pit in mound. Uh, so the pit, you can see is right where the snow is. Yuki's on the mound. Uh, have you ever been in the forest and you see a tree that has fallen and the whole root ball is up in the sky like this? And so the pit is where the root ball used to be when it grabbed all of that soil. If you have a big hole at the bottom, but eventually where that root ball was, as it disintegrates and composts and decomposes back into the ground, it leaves this really big mound that Yuki was just standing on. So next time you're out in the forest for a hike, see if you can find any spots where an ancient tree might have fallen over. Yuki here gets really, really sad because as you can see here, almost all of the snow is gone in the sugar bush. The sun keeps hitting the side of the hill and traps that heat. And so what's really, really cool is right where I'm standing right here, you can see that on this side, it's like a winter wonderland. Spring winter. We've actually recently just tapped our red maples down in this valley because the run is quite a bit longer where there's still snow. Yuki is of course very excited that we still have snow anywhere. After watching our cold video, my grandfather decided that we needed to be able to take a look at uh, the difference between hot and cold. So he actually got us this itty bitty tiny camera and has the ability to look at heat. Oh, and there's Yuki. Oh my goodness. Look. Ah! Look at this! This is so cool! Yeah, keep walking, you keep walking. Wow! <laughs> this is so weird! So if you take a look at the same maple tree that I've been standing at, you can see that the north side is quite a bit colder than the south right here. The shadows are actually uh, quite a bit colder than where the sun's hitting. That kind of makes sense because the sun warms things up. The thing that surprised us about that is that the warmest side of the tree also has the most sap flowing. It seems like there's a bunch of little flies that are drinking the water, which, you know, I don't mind sharing. Another cool thing out in the sugar bush here is um, what we call the tombstone. Now, I, to be clear, I don't think anyone's buried here, but uh, it's this weird rectangular rock. It seems to be dug pretty deep into the earth. It does wobble, however. I can't tell if somebody stood it up here or if nature did that itself, but uh, anyway, we're uh, gonna come up with a cool story for this one. Yuki seems to think there's someone living in this log. I wonder who it is. So now we're going to go work on our next video, which is all about making maple candy out of maple syrup from our own sugar bush. Before that, we're going to have to get this dog bath. Your face is so warm. We can see where you lose all your heat, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> 